Today we're going to be talking about is your parent rational? So it says the equation f of x, which remember is just y, equals 1 divided by x, is called the rational parent function. So we want to know why is it called rational? So it's called rational because it's written as a fraction with a numerator and a denominator. Specifically, the denominator has an x in it. And it says, why is it the parent function? And it's the parent function because it's the simplest, most basic function from which the other functions come. So it says we're going to graph the function by completing the table and plotting the points. So what I want you to do in your calculator is in y equals, and we're going to type in 1 divided by x. I'm going to hit graph. So your graph should match the graph right here. Now in order to figure out what specific points we have, let's go to the table. So again, to go to the table, I'm going to hit second graph. And I've got my table. So let's fill out the table. So looking at my table, when x is negative 10, I have negative 0.1. When x is negative 5, I have negative 0.2, and so forth and so on. Now remember, if you look at negative 0.5 and negative 0.25, remember, if I go to table set, so second window, I can actually tell it to start at negative 0.25, and then when I go back to the table, so second graph, it'll actually give me the number, and that's where I get negative 4. Okay, and again, to change it back, when I go back to the table set, I'll tell it to just start at zero. So now let's look at when I get to zero. It says error. So remember, whenever we see an error, what do we have? That's right, we're going to have an asymptote. Okay, so let's look at some of these definitions. It says this graph has both a horizontal asymptote and a vertical asymptote. So it asks me what an asymptote is. So an asymptote is a line that the graph approaches as x or y values become extremely large or extremely small. So what it means is it's approaching a number getting as close as it possibly can without ever being that number. So it says where are the asymptotes? So here the x-axis or y equals 0 and the y-axis or x equals 0. And it says how does this affect the domain or range? So here my domain is that x cannot be 0 and my range is also that y cannot be 0. Okay, so let's look at the bottom of the page. It says these graphs show transformations of f of x equals 1 divided by x. We're going to draw the asymptotes and state the domain of each. So looking at my graph, we're looking at where it's going to approach. So here, if I look at the first one, if you watch where the blue line goes, it's getting as close to the number 2 as possible without ever going over it. So if you look, that's where that dotted line is. Right here. Okay, if you look at the second graph, my graph is approaching as close to negative 1 as it possibly can without ever touching negative 1. And that's where that vertical dotted line comes in. Okay, so my x cannot be negative 1. So if I look at my last one, what is it approaching? That's right, it's getting as close to positive 3 as it can without ever being actually positive 3. So my domain here is that x cannot be a positive 3. Now if you look, the equal with the slash through it just means cannot be equal to. Okay, so we're going to actually work the rest of the questions in class tomorrow.